Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Diecast Alfie. Welcome to new subscribers, I've had a few over the last month or so. Uh, you're all very welcome and uh, I hope you enjoy or continue to enjoy what we're bringing you. It's nothing fancy on my channel because uh, I don't know how to do the editing. I'm 57 and all I'm interested in is the is the models themselves i'm not into fancy editing although i'd love to be able to do that but um them days have gone i'm afraid i'm just interested in these beautiful models and um I, like i say to everybody they're here for everybody everybody can enjoy these of all ages um it's a very very safe hobby and um let's try and get the kids involved eh okay so today, in the last episode, I said we were going to look at some BMW M4s and here we've got three beauties. Um, we've got the 462 IMSA BMW M4 GT3 T Turner Motorsports 2022 IMSA Daytona 24 hours Liquid Molly Tampos Authenticity sticker, licensed product. Please take uh, a still shot at the bottom left for the details. That looks stunning. The 439, that's the BMW G M4 GT3 ST Racing 2022 12 hour Mugello winner. Same, same, authenticity, licensed product, take a still shot at the left hand side, if you wish to do so. Right, I'm going to put that there because we're going to start with that one. 346, BMW M4 M Performance in Alpine White. Licensed product, authenticity, TSM logo bottom left hand side if my hand will stop shaking there we go okay so we're going to start i've opened all these simply to save time it's the first time i've seen them so it's all new to me and that oh my god that is absolutely wow what a st st I'm lost for words. That's a stunning, stunning. It's very, very heavy as well. Stunning car. Beautiful tampos. What's that paint job? Now you see, sometimes because I'm I'm I'm, I'm 57 and my eyes are fading a bit. Until I get it actually onto the computer and I can't really see. There's something on the door, it's something to do with the... It'll be the, the root of the 12-hour rally, I suppose, or whatever it is. Motors, well, it's not rally, is it? But you know what I mean. It was the same as the uh, the, the Urus uh, across the world thing, uh, uh, the silver one. I didn't realise it had the, 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 the root of it and the dots going across the door. <laughs> anyway... Some beautiful tampos on that, lovely spoke wheels, beautiful high, high tail fin, which, if you look closely, it's not poked in properly. See how it's stuck up? That's a QC error. I will try and poke it down without breaking it. See, how, I'll, I'll show you it on the turntable in a minute. <gasps> what a stunning car that is. Lovely inserted headlamps. Scooped uh, aero air, air intakes on the on the the bonnet. <gasps> Beautiful, nice escape hatch on the top. Beautiful, nice diffuser. On the back, little BMW 
logo on the bonnet. Do you see it? Oh, right, okay. You'll see what I mean about... You see the tail fin, now it's... It's, uh, it's like that. If you look closely... Ooh, shocking. Ooh. So it's going to have to go into the uh, the doctor's and have a little operation. Beautiful. What a beautiful machine though that is. Say nice logos. Uh, what is it? Is it a... Oh, I can't say. I think it's left hand drive. Nothing, nothing on the bo on the bottom. Nothing on the bottom. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, lovely machine, come on, lovely machine, apart from the skew with spoiler, look at it, going up, <laughs> make a nice ski slope, oh, disappointed with that, but hopefully it'll click in without snapping it. Oh God! I can see it clear as day now. Ooh. Do you know what though? It's not taking away how beautiful that machine is. That is a stunning, stunning car model. Look at it. Keep pushing. That's what the. Uh, that's what the uh, the girlfriend used to say to me. Keep pushing. Cheeky. Girlfriend, I'll get in trouble now with a wife and that. <laughs> Runs okay. Well, what a gorgeous machine. Apart from the uh, sl slanty spoiler. But... We can overcome. Overcome, we can. There we go. Let's take that away. Have a little cry. And we're going to now look at the 346. Okay. Saving the best for last, you see. <laughs> oh, look at that. Beautiful black, black roof. Heated rear wind, uh, I was going to say windshield, rear, rear wind, windscreen, lovely spoiler, nice back end, quad exhaust, you can barely see them again, they should, they, we'll do a close up, but you sh they should tip them with silver or something, nice inserted brake lights, nice wheels, lovely tempo, lovely paint job. Right hand drive, beautiful grill, lovely front end, BMW logo, plastic, wing mirrors. Let's get it in there. Ooh, lovely. Very, very nice indeed. Lovely. I suppose, it, you know, some would say it's plain. <laughs> well, compared with some of the others, and the, the, the next one and the one before, it is plain. Ah, it's far from plain, really. You and I know that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful model. Let's see if we can shed a bit of, bit of light on that... Um,
on them. Wheels. OCD. Well, oh, there we go. Say so, the nice, nice black roof. See the quad exhaust at the bottom, but because we're colour blind, the majority of the male population. I'm struggling to see, probably see it easy on the computer when you, you see it. I'm bear in mind I'm just looking at it on a little screen on a on a, um, a video recorder thing. Um, I have a, a Canon. What is it? A Canon 90D, uh, which is a cam an SLR camera stroke uh, video recorder. It does this, uh, oh, what is it? Whatever it is, the the, uh, the high quality video, 4K. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of all kinds of stuff. Um, 57, you know, so I'm thinking of of uh, days gone by. Uh, those of you who are old enough will remember the the VHS and Betamax, Betamax video recorders. They were the, the, the best quality, but um, they were very expensive. VHS won the battle, so everybody only remem tends to remember the VHS video recorder. But they reckon, say, I remember the, the Betamax, because my uh, brother-in-law had a Betamax and he thought he was the bee's knees. And he thought he chose the right one, which he may well have done, but in the end he didn't. Lovely, lovely car, very nice, nice inserts on the on the on the front. No QC issues with that one. Very nice. Okay, so. I've saved the best to last. We're going to have a look at the 462 IMSA Turner Motorsports IMSA Daytona 24 Hours. Now, as I say, I really have only just opened these models for the first time, and I'm looking at this one and I'm absolutely gobsmacked. There it is. What a stunning, stunning machine that is. I'm going to be careful not to drop it. Oh, yeah, them, yeah, them wing, wing mirrors are not, not, um, they're like a resin actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, metal resin, so I'd better don't drop that. Look at the tampos on that. Spoiler in the right place for this one. Oh, God, that's stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, lovely scoops, lovely scoops in the uh, the bonnet. <sighs> oh my god, nearly dropped it then. Lovely red colours around that, around that uh, the the front grill. Get some close ups in a minute. My god, that is beautiful. It really is stunning. I think these are exhausted. Where my thumb is there. But I said we'll have a little close up. Wow. <sighs> wow. What a gorgeous, gorgeous car that is. <sighs> what can I say about that? It's beautiful. I could sit and look at that all day. I, I'm what you call a, a, a voyeur. Now, a lot of people associate a voyeur with uh, being dodgy, but I'm a model voyeur. I, I love fine detail. Um, a voyeur being a voyeuristic person who loves looking. 
I do like looking, but I like looking at, at um, fine detail models. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, that is stunning. <clears throat> you will not find a nicer tampo job on any any car that I, c I can think of. Obviously the Lancia Delta for me was a stunner. The Integrale, Integrale, whatever you want to call it. That is beautiful as well. Wow. Runs well, obviously. I say obviously. I've had quite a few that don't run well. Bent axles, etc. Wow. And yet all, all the original models that came out tended to be 100% perfect. And then I'm afraid they lost the way a little bit with some of the bent axles, bent wheels. But um, apart from that spoiler that I've just had, I've been pretty lucky recently. So I'm, a bit, I'm just, well, I'm a bit disappointed, but I'm hoping that it'll just click. Not require any paint because... Bit, whoa, look at that. What a stunning paint job. Oh, well, tampos, aren't they? I say paint job. Wow. Nice diffuser deflector at the bottom there. You can see it. Just gorgeous, yeah. The, the 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 exhaust is at the the back there. Same on the other side. Fuel fillers up at the top. Well, what a stunning car! Oh, you can see the red quite clearly there on the the front grill. The red, where the radiator is, I suppose nice outer red rim <laughs> sounds a bit naughty that but is it if you're not being cheeky you know what i mean they're lovely look at that Ooh. beautiful well we've had uh three beautiful beautiful uh m4s there I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stick them all on together. Stick them on there. Get a bit of a close up there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not bad then. Um... Oh, we're hanging over the edge. We're living on the edge, as Ada Smith said. We're living on the edge. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely M4s. You won't get three nicer ones than that. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to start now. I mean, we're going to have a disaster trying to put that spoiler back in or everyone will be happy. You'll know in the next episode. I will let you know. And uh, well, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and uh, you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. We're here to, to enjoy uh, the hobby. Uh, I predominantly do Mini GTs. Uh, simply because I've had to concentrate on Mini GTs. Because I, I, I couldn't afford to buy everything else. I couldn't afford it in terms of money or room. So um, the justification for Mini GT for me is going to be in the long run. 
because these models are going to be the number well they already are number one but they're going to be number one for a long long time and i think they're a fantastic investment uh, you'll get a better return on these than what you will do at the moment in any bank that's for sure i hope he says <laughs> okay well thanks for watching take care and uh, i'll see you in the next episode bye